Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. I've had a great lineup this morning and I'm going to continue with that with Dr. Lisa Richardson. She's the Director, Division of Cancer and Prevention Control, and she brought a friend, April, to talk <laughs> to you about on a very important subject. How do we make sure that the pandemic doesn't result in more cancer deaths? We're going to take that topic on. Dr. Richardson, April, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Dr. Richardson, first of all, uh, how do we make sure the pandemic doesn't result in more cancer deaths? That's a weighty title. What do you have to say about that? Well, there's a weighty title. I think that, you know, what we can do is, you know, a lot of people miss their screenings at the beginning of the pandemic is to get back into care and get back into the routine of getting your cancer screenings done. Um, as a, you know, you, if you're scheduled for one, don't put it off. Uh, don't cancel it. And if you've missed one, you know, be persistent to get back on the books and get your cancer screening done because you're right. And eventually in the future, we may see more people die of cancer. How is the CDC helping in this? I know they know that people canceled those appointments, didn't attend their appointments, that kind of thing. Couldn't get that Zoom appointment either. Right. So how right. is the CDC helping in this? So the main way we're helping is developing protocols um, and for clinics to be able to be safe for people to come in and to get screened. Also putting out the recommendations about mask wearing, um, social distancing, all the things that you can do um, to keep yourself from getting sick with COVID-19. So, and obviously the most important has been the vaccination um, that was released in December of 2020. Um, that is really what is, you know, going to help us get out of this pandemic. Is the CDC also too, I know you guys are pro-booster. Well, that's actually been our recommendation that if you've had, you know, the vaccine, the two doses, um, that you do get um, a booster shot within five, you know, within five months of when you had your uh, first two vaccines done. I'm going to switch to April. April, you are a cancer survivor. Uh, what can you add to this conversation for me? Well, absolutely get your booster shot. I get vaccinated. I've had uh, my flu vaccines my, and all of my COVID shots, including the booster. Um, so when I did get COVID this year, my symptoms were a lot less severe because of it. Um, for me, going through uh, cancer treatment during the pandemic was very scary. It a lot of times felt like battling uh, two monsters at the same time. And I couldn't ignore one while I fought the other one because although COVID is more deadly in patients with lowered immune systems, so is cancer when it's left untreated. So I know that personally because my mother passed away from cancer when she was only 47. So I was determined to do everything that I could to, to be here for my family and my kids in spite of all of the fears that I had surrounding the pandemic. And once I actually started going to treatment, a lot of those fears were relieved because the doctors and hospitals were taking so many extra precautions to keep patients safe. Not only were they masking and taking temperature checks, they were going the extra mile of making sure that the waiting areas were not crowded and providing telehealth appointments when possible. So I quickly realized that I was more likely to get COVID getting gas or getting groceries than I was going to a doctor's appointment. I'm thanking you so very much for sharing that because I've heard so many people afraid of going out, going different places, and hopefully you're trying to, uh, or you're dispelling that myth for people, April, and I'm so glad that you're better. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Dr. Thank Richard, you. Dr. Richardson, uh, um, what did April, voicing her opinion on that, what do you think that can do for people who have those fears? 
Well, I think what it, the main thing it can do is reassure people that going to get your care can be done safely. Um, you know, when I was, um, I think it was June of 2020, I went to get my regular mammogram um, and everything was fine when I went to the facility. So I think being here today, talking about it, and again, dispelling the myths about, you know, how to COVID, you know, how you get it and what, you know, what we can't do anything about it, but there's plenty of things that we can do um, to stay safe, including getting vaccinated. So many people, and I got to say this again, and I, if I sound like I'm driving this point home, because I hear them on social media, mm -hmm. just because you have something like type 2 diabetes or uh, elevated uh, uh, A1C, those are important diseases also that you're battling. They're not something that can wait, correct, doctor? Oh, absolutely. I mean, one of the, one of the biggest um, issues that we talk about at CDC is not just cancer, but it's people that have heart disease, diabetes, people who have strokes. You know, at the beginning of the pandemic, people would, you know, die at home with heart attacks because they were so afraid of the emergency room. So when these, you know, when you have symptoms or you have a problem like diabetes, it's way important to stay in touch with your provider and keep your um, diabetes or blood pressure or all those things under control. Absolutely. Okay, you guys are listening. You tell me you listen to the show so frequently and you listen to it on all these different platforms. My goal is for you to act, and you've gotten great information from Dr. Richardson and April today. Please make your appointment with your physicians or your specialists that you need to see. Dr. Richardson, is there a place online you want my audience to go? Yes, yeah, so for our cancer screening information, you can go to preventcancerinfections.org. Um, we have a video there, Get Screened for Cancer, as well as a cancer screening guide. Um, and for more information on uh, coronavirus, you can go to cdc.gov slash coronavirus. Great information today from Dr. Lisa Richardson, Director of Division of Cancer and Prevention and Control. Thank you so, God, you guys so much, and thank you, April. I really appreciate it, and be well. Thank you. Thank you.